was a crime that shocked the community and the murder of a beloved fruit vendor known as the Watermelon Man. John Materna was 76 years old. The Watermelon Man. We did this story a while ago, man. We did this story a while ago. I remember this one, man. Some dudes pulled up, tried to rob him. He was out selling watermelons. And he pulled out his gun to defend himself, and they killed him. And sped off into the night. Well, now we got an update, man. I think we, we, we got an update on the story of who killed the watermelon, man. Dudes is robbing people that's out selling watermelons out the back of their pickup truck. You can't even sell watermelons out the back of your pickup truck now without some without some minorities coming up and robbing you, man. It was a crime that shocked the community and the murder of a beloved fruit vendor known as the Watermelon Man. John Materna was 76 years old when he was shot last year during a robbery in Highland Heights. He died two weeks later. A 15-year-old was charged, but as WREG's Mike Suriani reports, the suspect, now 16, is on the run after skipping a bond hearing. A warrant. So this fool, this... In Remember, it's a racist country, right? This little proto-human, this little simian sapien <laughs> killed this guy in a botched robbery for some watermelon money. And they let him go. They arrested him and then released him. And now they can't find him. They arrested this guy for the crime and then released him on bond. And now they can't find him. <laughs> Look, man. I don't want to hear nothing about no racism, man. Y'all getting a fair shake. You proto-humans are getting a fair shake, man. I'm tired of hearing about racism, man. Y'all getting a fair shake. Two weeks later, a 15-year-old was charged, but as WREG's Mike Suriani reports, the suspect, now 16, is on the run after skipping a bond hearing. A warrant has been issued for 16-year-old Damarian Tackett after the juvenile failed to appear for a bond hearing Friday. Tackett, who was bound over as an adult, was 15 years old when he was arrested for shooting Materna during an attempted robbery. Materna was selling watermelons at the corner of Homer Street and Wayne Avenue. A second suspect has not been apprehended. Court records show Tackett was granted and posted a $100,000 bond in March of this year, was indicted by a grand jury in April, but failed to show for a bond hearing Friday, June 21st. Family members of John Materna did not want to comment on Tackett's no-show, but Materna's daughter acknowledged on the one-year anniversary of her father's death, the wheels of justice often turn slowly. We don't want him to rush it because we don't want mistakes. We want it done right the first time, so we're getting there. And look how, look how... Look how optimistic these white people are, man. <laughs> Look at these white people. They just optimistic and hopeful, and we're going to wait for the system to do its job. The wheels of justice turn slow sometimes, and blah, 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 blah. Let it have been, let, let it have been a, a 76-year-old black man out there selling watermelons out the back of a pickup truck. And some white kids came along and shot him down like a dog in the street. And then they arrested the white kid. And the white kid wouldn't give up his partner. <laughs> the white kid wouldn't give up his co his, his co-defendant or his his, his, his co-conspirator. But they let the white kid go anyway. <laughs> let him free on bond. And then the white kid went on the run. And then they interview the black family. How you think that interview would go, man? 
man. See, it's two, it's two justice systems, man. Things haven't changed since the 60s, man. If he was black, they would have never let him go. On the one year anniversary of her father's death, the wheels of justice often turn slowly. We don't want him to rush it because we don't want mistakes. Well, we want it done right the first time. So we're getting there. It's making progress. Materna sold watermelons for decades at the corner where he was shot. A memorial placed there honors the man, but a lifelong friend said it brings no peace or answers to why Materna died and why the criminal justice system failed the watermelon man. Until we not enact laws, but we enforce the laws that we have that are on the book, there's no deterrent out here. There's none. For your news leader in Highland Heights, I'm Mike Suriani, W. Man, you can't sell watermelons out the back of your pickup truck, man. These goddamn sun turds have made this, have made it so, so unlivable. They've made society damn near unlivable, man. You can't do regular shit. An old dude should just be able to like, yo, I'm gonna, gonna give me some watermelons and shout out to text 47. He says, thanks for the coverage. On, on Rumble. Shout out to Text 47 on Rumble, man. But getting go go to a farm, get in your pickup truck, and go uh, sell some watermelons for the weekend, man. You serious, man? You gotta be joking, man. You gotta be kidding me, man. Is that where we at, man? That's where we're at. That's where the sun man got us at, man. That's where the sun man got us at. Man, you can't even go sell watermelons, man. Without some some little proto-human. We talking about like this kid isn't even a human being. This kid is like a simian sapien. He's a simian sapien. Don't try to use my terms even, y'all. If you ain't Ock Nation, man. That's a simian sapien, man. That's a whole simian sapien, man. Just running around with a gun, killing people and getting arrested and getting released. So they so he killed the white man, got arrested, didn't get killed during the arrest, like they like to say. We ah oh, whatever. We if we get arrested, man, it's just interactions with police, uh, the police is a death sentence. We when you, when we see police, man, we have a right to be afraid. This little Simeon Sapien gets arrested for killing this white man, and then just goes on the run, and now they can't find him after getting bonded out. Man. Man, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> shout out to God Ninja, man. He says, University can't take the city girl 304 out of her. Yeah, man, they hopeless, man. Them, them sister judges is hopeless, man. Jimmy Fields production says, ah, this is for the watermelon man who even with a cart full of watermelons couldn't bark. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit, man. Facts, man. I should have been. <laughs> he had all the collateral, man. He should have. He should have. Yeah, he should have been able to. Hey, man, take the watermelons, man. <laughs> God, no, man. He said, this is for the watermelon man. Ah, this is for the watermelon man who, even with a cart full of watermelons, couldn't bargain his way out of being snuffed by his son, man. Jesus Christ, man. Paul Michael says, have you seen the judge body? Yeah, I ain't want to get into that, man. I saw it though, yeah, man. It's just it, I ain't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because I want to get on other stuff today, man. Shout out to my man Darren, man. Darren says he was he was racist for selling watermelons. Oh, he was trying to. Uh, it was a dog whistle. He was dog whistling out there. He was out there like, yeah, you niggas love watermelons. It was a, it was a, the undertones, yeah, the undertones. That's why this little Simeon Sapien killed him, cause <laughs> he was a, uh, he was out there undertones, man. <laughs> he was out there undertones, man. <laughs> Simeon Sapien. God dog it, man. Jesus, man. Man. We some ruffians, man. We some ruffians, man. Hi, good evening to you both. Well, we'll start tonight with an update from city leaders who tell us that the two toddlers pulled from this water here at Dawson Ave Beach over the weekend have been taken off intubation and are making progress in their recovery. This all 